we have weird stuff here. 30 million kilometers away, ExoMars reveals the halo of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. So basically what they are saying is that this here, it can be an asteroid, yes. Or some kind of asteroid or something. Actually, we have here people that believe it's that. Like, for instance, Chris Green. The thing is, I, I believe it's alien. But uh, we have different um, opinions, man, and it's valid. Why not? Why not? What I believe it is, for the ones that don't know, is that is something by design, made by design. It has different anomalies, very strong, that suggest me that. I don't know. I don't have 100% uh, evidence of that. Nobody has. And even we probably will never have, because... What I think is that it's kind of a, an alien probe gathering information, which is the logical thing for a civilization to do. They will want to explore the universe is big, not only to us, to them as well. Even that they expanded in a galaxy or something, they will have trillions and trillions of galaxies to explore at trillions of distance as well, no? So they will require, the, the first thing will be to explore. It can be... Something like we sent the, the Voyager 1 and, and 2 and Pioneer 10 and, 10 and 11 to explore. A bit primitive, but it hey was the first uh, time we did it. But if they are more advanced, it's natural that they think better and they think, okay, and maybe they experienced that. Maybe they sent kind of ex uh, Voyagers, something similar. They were discovered and they didn't like that. And then they... Upgrade it to, okay, this time we'll start sending objects that look like a rock so other civilizations can't identify them. It's logical, man. How the heck can we know, man? Jennifer, I think Oumuamua is related because for a simple reason. Oumuamua made f uh, a, first, a first approach, the unique approach, but it was to closer, very close to the Earth and to Mercury. So, they gathered information from Mercury and from the Earth. We didn't notice Oumuamua until past the Earth. It's crazy, but it's the truth. We just noticed it and detected it after it passed it closer to the Earth. Not like this object that we are up front detecting it. 30 million kilometers away, ExoMars, halo of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. What they are talking about, it's this. This halo here. This is the gas and dust. Where's the tail? Where's the tail that all comets have? I mean, look at the swan, for instance. Look at the freaking tail. I can't even place it here. It's too big. It crosses the, the display here. This is a comet. Nothing like this, man. This has a halo around it. Gas and dust. It's a halo. And look at the shape of it here. Man, this will be... Prepare yourself. This will be highly speculated. Because it has a, a weird stuff. And then you will see kind of some lights here. I'll show you. This is one frame only. Man, this is freaking weird, man. Crazy. But here you can't distinguish. In the in the movie you can see different dots moving, man. Dynamic. Man, it's crazy, man. Don't tell me it's crazy, man. I don't know what the mainstream guys will say about this. Well, I know. I say, oh, that's nothing, that's an artifact. <laughs> I trust NASA, the ESA. We don't know what is it. The only thing we know is that they tell us, now, this is very close to Mars still. It's very close to the perihelion, which is the closest approach to the Sun, in the 29th of October. Till then... We will not see it from the Earth with regular telescopes. Doesn't matter the size. After that, in the beginning of November, we will be 
trying to, to capture the first images from here. Or from Texas. From Chris Green. Live. Probably from Texas. We are planning that, don't worry. Real-time views. But till then, it will be... We will have to rely on their pictures. From Mars, from those instruments. And they said to me, to us, when it was far away, still was far away, when they discovered it on July, man, four point three astronomical units, so four X ish the distance from the Earth to the Sun. He was coming, he was discovered, and no tail. And everybody was like, oh, how can you say it's a comet right away if it has no tail? Because they right away were like, it's a comet. Shut up. And people start, hold on, your horses. Where's the tail? Oh, it doesn't have a tail yet, but it's normal. Only, their words, only when it gets closer to the sun, below four astronomical units distance, it will have a tail, like other comets. So shut up, go home. Four astronomical units, no tail. Three astronomical units, no tail. Two astronomical units, no tail. One astronomical unit, no tail. From Mars, a few kilometers. Right here. The distance from your home to the, the supermarket. There. No tail. Another one, the halo. Yes, it's true, the halo. You see, alpha lie, alpha true. It has an halo. It always has an halo. A halo. Which is weird, it's an anomaly. Too much CO2 for the water he has. No comment has that. Much CO2. Now, did you see at the end something like a, a disc shaped thing look hold on look at inside the you see inside the circle and there are some dots that appear pop here here and here one here look this is i will not count the first one one here and here two one and then two here look one you'll see hold on here, near the, the object. And here. It's weird because I don't see that happening in the rest of the, the footage. I just see here and here. Man, don't tell me this is not crazy. So, I know already in advance what they will use as a justification for this. The cameras were not aimed to watch uh, an object like that the cameras were to photograph the bright surface of mars they will repeat this the bright surface of mars uh, just a few hundred to a few thousands kilometers below not to an object like that that's why they do something like this that's why we see something like this it has an invisible tail we can't see because the cameras are not good for that man it has a tail for sure no this is not an alien spacecraft it does this weird stuff here but it's because of the camera look one two three four five six lights here God, this one is beautiful this one don't tell me that this one isn't beautiful